Have you ever wanted to be a better version of yourself? Stronger, faster, maybe even taller? The human genome is responsible for each of these traits, along with all of the others that make us unique and different from one another. In today's world, there are new technologies that allow for the artificial manipulation of one's genome. Let's take a look at one of the ways this is done. A virus carrying the modified DNA is carefully inserted into the organism. This transport vessel contains instructions for the host cell to alter its genetic functions. Once the virus contacts the host cell, the modified DNA is inserted into the nucleus to ensure a self-sustaining genetic transformation. The use of viral vectors is the most common way to alter genetic information and its widespread use in other scientific fields ensures its reliability. However, it is not the procedural process that is worrisome. The negative implications paired with this technology are an important factor in deciding its credibility. Altering the genetic makeup of a human being can have unexpected costs for which we may not be prepared for. According to the Human Genome Project, our DNA encodes for 20 to 25,000 genes, the specificity of which are incredibly important to normal functioning for our bodies. While gene therapy may provide multiple benefits, our physical well-being hangs in the balance. One unfortunate recipient of this therapy, Jesse Gelsinger, received treatment for a spontaneous genetic mutation resulting in a fatal disease of the liver. Four days after joining a clinical trial and receiving treated DNA needed to address his condition, Jesse died. This may be an extreme example of the repercussions of gene therapy, but nevertheless, it must be addressed with the presence of ongoing treatment. Other important implications are pertinent to the discussion as well. While Gelsinger was fortunate enough to have the ability to join this clinical trial for genetic enhancement, not all families have this luxury. This novel technique would only be available to those who can afford spending $100,000 for a year's treatment. This would add to the benefits of the upper class, further dividing the socioeconomic gap already present in today's society. Although gene therapy, like all other things, comes with baggage, there are benefits that make us question whether the good outweighs the bad. The potential to eliminate diseases and disorders has been and will continue to be a deciding factor in the success of gene therapy. Diverse illnesses, including Alzheimer's, cancer, baldness, and many others, transcend generations and affect millions of families. By altering the genetic makeup of one individual, many kin may be saved as a result. Along with the potential to save lives, this new technology opens the door for other future advancements in the field of genetics. While these advancements may not be known, we have already been exposed to these unknowns with the rise of designer babies. These babies are a result of revolutionary ideas that are just another unopened can of baby food. Depending on what gene therapy is used for, moral obligations must be evaluated with respect to this new technology. Gene doping is currently most common within the athletic world. In a specific case study, Yishi Wen is criticized for her use of gene therapy in order to break the world record in swimming. For the majority of this race, Shi Wen lagged behind the top three swimmers only to overtake them in the final 50 meters. Her performance surpassed the record of previous male champion Ryan Lochte. Shi Wen used a genetic enhancement to increase the oxygen carrying potential of her blood, allowing her victory in the 400 women's medley. Critics of Shi Wen have a solid argument for and or against her tactics, but society today has not prepared for legal evaluations involving athletic manipulations of this magnitude. The debate that springs from our unpreparedness addresses how we should deal with what some would consider cheating in the future. In order to diagnose the use of gene doping in athletes, DNA must be evaluated. This assessment has the potential to compromise both the respect of an athlete and potentially lead to physical harm. The other topics needing to be addressed include potential issues that may arise from the growing popularity of this new technology not only in the athletic world, but in everyday life. 
In a TED Talk from 2009, Juan Enriquez introduced the theory of Homo evolutus. This idea explains how the human race is no longer letting natural selection dictate our evolution, but rather how we are selecting which genes thrive. A lot has changed in the past seven years, and our species as we know it is on the brink of extinction. While adapting to one's environment is part of natural selection, what we have to decide on as a society is whether this technology for genetic enhancement is truly an adaptation or a manipulation that may put the world as we know it in danger. Due to the transmissible nature of genes, actively altering an individual's genetic makeup today could result in future generations that are stronger, faster, and taller than both you and me. Thank you.